Get your Bibles out. We're going to continue. Once the kids get situated. They just happy. Remember when y'all were happy like that before you had bills? Right. Come on. Amen. Bills took that happiness. Yeah, that'll do it. Mm -hmm. Psalm 33. We're going to continue. And, uh,. Some of y'all have some uh, street corner theology that we're going to try to destroy. Storefront theology, street corner, mega saver theology. Because you've seen people who have done wrong, who've done you wrong, talk about they love the Lord. There's nothing more confusing in life than to have somebody who's no good, doing no good, mistreating folk, talking about they love the Lord. I wonder, does the Lord say what love got to do with it? <laughs> that he wants somebody in mind that will them little party upstairs. Go, 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 go send one of my regulators up there. There you go. Gonna get quiet real quick. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about what really works in life. What is also a place of habitation or a place of refuge. If you don't know where to go or you need somewhere to go, let me suggest, say, well, what side of town should I live on? Uh, let me suggest that you hide yourself in the fear of the Lord. Amen. Write this down. The fear of the Lord is a place of refuge for you. Amen. And then if I get around to it, the fear of the Lord will keep you good looking. Then you know you want to be good looking. You don't want people looking at you hiding, <laughs> ducking. Amen. Because one day you might have to go to a 5, or 10, 15, 20 year reunion. And you don't want folk looking at you like they don't recognize you. Okay? So the fear of the Lord, we'll get to it hopefully, is the fountain of life. Yeah. If you want to know why somebody still look good after all these years and what they've been through, it's because of the fear of the Lord. Because yeah. your emotions, the worst thing you can do is make your child think they're going to get away with their emotions. No, you're not. You're going to get shut down. Okay? And so, I'm already rolling. When the first thing you teach your child or children is the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is their oversight. The fear of the Lord is where something that they can take to college, all through their adult life, the fear of the Lord. You say, what do you mean? You mean I'm supposed to be scared of God? Somewhat. Somewhat, but it's really a reverence. Uh, you should be frighteningly scared to be outside his will. Yes. Amen. No, like it should frighten you to be outside his will. If you've been outside his will, you now in his will, you ought to be so glad this morning. Right. Amen. You don't need nobody to... Huh? You say, why is that not stressed in church, the fear of the Lord, Gabby? It's because some preachers don't have the fear of the Lord. How else would you mess with your members? Right. Oh, man. How else would you mess with God? I don't send nobody, no daughter from no club for no pastor to mess with her. Right. They, they don't have the fear of the Lord. Right. And therefore, if they don't have the fear of the Lord, their people don't have the fear of the Lord. But let's mark this down. Grace Apostolic, we are afraid of the Lord. We have a fear of the Lord in here. Amen. Fear of the Lord. Mm. There, there's certain spirits we just ain't tolerating. 
Jesus. We, we just not letting that get started in here. Right. Why? Because it's not a matter of meeting somewhere. It's that God's presence is there. Right. Because in his presence is the fullness of joy. Okay. Y'all tracking with me? Yes, All right. But we're talking about the fear of the Lord. Psalm 33. It shouldn't take a storm like we had a week ago for you to get scared of God. Now, I personally love watching God show out. I personally love watching God put man in his place. Even though, Mozilla, it cost me a tree. Well, you know what I said about that tree? That tree was a facade. His roots weren't deep enough. He was standing there looking pretty in between the two garages. He was there to fill a spot. Other trees that were smaller than him survived the storm. Larger trees because their roots. But this little weak tree that was just looking good. Don't it sound like church people? Looking good but not deep enough. When a real strong wind came along, it snapped it at its foundation. I didn't mourn that tree. I had that tree chopped up and removed. Are y'all hearing me? Oh, didn't nobody lose no tears over that tree? Oh, no, no, no. It was not strong enough. It was not deep enough. What are you trying to say? Don't sit in church and look cute. Don't sit in church. Don't sit there and talk about I'm a Christian and you ripping and running and doing whatever you want to do. No. Get some deep roots in God. Amen. How do you know? Oh, man. I, I'm rolling now. How do you know your roots are deep? Their root, you know your roots are deep based on how you handle temptation. Or the temptations. Okay, I don't care if it's plural. That's how you know you know who you are in God. Not based on what you don't like and it's offered to you. Anybody can turn that down. Huh? If you don't like peanut brittle because it mess with your teeth, it ain't nothing for you. I don't want no peanut brittle. But oh, but something you like. Come on now. Something you like. That when you think about the earth moves under your feet. Come on now. I'm trying to keep it right. Huh? That's how you know who you are and what you are in God. Huh? When temptation comes, you learn how deep your roots are in him. You find out what you are about. Amen. It has nothing to do with Pastor Barlow, Grace Apostolic Church. It has everything to do with how you feel about God and do you have the fear of God. Nobody has time to watch you, babysit you, chaperone. The fear of God. Good to see you, girl. The fear of God is your chaperone. Yeah. How many of y'all can thank the fear of God from stopping you from being in a mess? Come on, let's talk now. And I'm going to be done. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, but I can't. Who am I talking to? Woulda, coulda, shoulda. And how many of y'all are glad today that the fear of God saved your life? The fear of God is what sets you up for a blessing. The fear of God is why you have a great love affair. The fear of God is why you got married. The fear of God is why you are blessed. The fear of God helped you finish school. If you ever get one thing, you get the fear of God, you got success coming your way. You got blessing coming your way. You got a door open that no man off. Why? Because I can't do that. The fear of God. Oh, I hear my mind rolling now. Reggie, you need a fear to go with that necklace, homie. <laughs> Reggie, good people, y'all, huh? The fear of God. Tell you a story, Joseph. Joseph, slave, on swole, buffed, got on the platform, huh? Potiphar's wife, huh? She took something from the homies. She bit her fist. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we always talk about what men look, but y'all be looking too. Amen. Y'all looking at somebody's shoe size. You look at their hands. Talk to me now. We're in a hood church. Oh, man. Huh? You got rulers. You got different rulers that you use. Come on now. Come on. We at Grace Apostolic. We ain't no Lutheran church. Talk to me now. Huh? Oh, snap. Uh, so, so, so. She saw him on the stage naked. She went deep. <laughs> so Joseph get in the house. Potiphar's house. You know the Hebrew story, homie, a little bit. I think Potiphar had a little sugar in him. He was peeping too. That ain't no good look. That little sugar in him. You know, he like dick. Well, anyway, but, but I, I just the Hebrew story, all right? The Hebrew. 
So, you know, she sees him, and until then, I'm going to help you. Her name was Zuleika. She was the most chaste. She was the one that frowned at other women who weren't dressed right and who weren't looking right, who, whose who little, little tunic was too tight or too low or too high or whatever. She was chaste until she seen something she won't. Oh, uh, see, you can judge folk until it comes your way. Now, 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 huh? Huh? So, the, so until she saw Joseph, she was the woman all the other women in Egypt looked up to. She was the most chaste. She was little house on the prairie. What the little girl on the little prairie? She was her, all right? The little homely looking one with the long dress on. She was her, all right? Little house on the prairie, homely. She, everybody looked up to her. Nobody thought she could ever fall off of that peak. Mm. See, that's what you have to love about God. God see the freak in you. People might not think you can fall, huh? but God say that just, oh, come on. Now the freaks don't come out at night. The freaks, they walk. Y'all hear me? And God know the real you. That's why you can't live under no facade of what folk think about you. It's not what they think about you. It's what God know about you. All right. How many here know y'all can fall? Lord, have mercy if, if God don't help you. I said, if God don't help you, who in here know if God don't help me, I'll mess my record up. If God don't help me, I'll cross a boundary. If God don't help me, I'll do what I condemn other people from doing. Ain't none of us anything without the Holy Ghost. Don't you ever forget that. Amen. That's what I deal with my minister about. Don't sing the song, live the song. Other than that, Satan gonna do you one day. So anyway, back to Zulika. Zulika, she, she seen Joseph, Joseph in the house. See, looking. He going about his business. He's only in the house because somebody lied on him. Okay? His brothers hated him. That's why he's in the house. He hated him. All because his father, I could have talked to some father, they, Pastor Linda, his father favored him over the other brothers. He made him a coat of many colors. Huh? <laughs> That's like your father buy the good child a Jaguar and give you a bus ticket. You ain't feeling that. Okay? Well, his daddy did it. He was a son of his old age. So therefore, all his brothers, they were guessing they hated him. They threw him in a ditch, which was God's will. Sometimes you got to go to a ditch in order to go up. All right? So it's all the will of God. Okay? So anyway, so here comes this, this one test. Zuleika. Now, see, it'd be an easy story if Zuleika was ugly. <laughs> it's just an ugly woman that liked a good-looking man. Y'all seen that before. Okay, don't, don't, that, that, ain't, that ain't deep. Come on now. Come on. Oh, now, now y'all want to get spiritual. Well, I don't. I don't. But, but, but Zuleika was a banger. Y'all know what a banger is? A certified. Not two nickels. She was a dime. <laughs> not, se not a seven center who need three more pennies. <laughs> she was a dime piece, as y'all said. And then she saw Joseph. And that dime became less than anything. Because she said, I had to have him. It did not matter about. They said I was chased. I was only chased. I was only saved. I was only kept until I saw something I wanted. Oh, oh now we're getting quiet in here. That's all right, huh? See, see, that's why, you know, until you, know, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Uh, it's when you see something you want, that's when you know you're in trouble. Uh, then you have to do the measurement. Do I want this more than I want God? So here come here comes Zuleika. Zuleika's a pretty woman. Zuleika, you know, she ain't chasing no more because I want Joseph. It's surprising how quickly folk will throw out their morals to get something they want. Oh, man. Look, you can't look at me like that. I saw the missionary leader when the church, when I came up, I saw the missionary leader lead a church over a pie. She baked a man a pie. We didn't see her no more. All right. She had a long white dress. She looked holy until she seen that preacher and she made 
made that pie. And after that, she was gone. So don't be looking at me like you all that. I know you are one hostess cupcake away. Come on now. You are hostess cupcake. You, 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 are, you are hot like Krispy Kreme donut away. Amen. You see something you want, you get the foaming at the mouth. Your eyes get all slick. Come on now. You get like you can't breathe in it. Somebody say hallelujah for our amen. You ought to thank God for keeping you. Some of y'all, you ought to thank God for keeping you. Don't come and act like you kept yourself. God has been good to you. You owe the Holy Ghost. You owe the fear of God. Amen. Uh, come on now. You owe the fear of God. Make sure you tell somebody, yeah, I have a good record, but it's only because God helped me in the hour of temptation. I have a good record. Folk, 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 folk tell more lies in church. I don't know who he's talking about this morning. You? see something you want you just fall apart we won't talk about the men you stalked the one you leave messages for show up at the job call and hang up oh man I got some stalk I always have a stalker come to church I know there's a stalker in here look down your row is there a stalker in your row huh I, I know there's a stalker in your row huh Watch this now, just to show you who I'm talking to. Watch this now. Uh, why, why? Suppose Denzel come in here. See, folk all looking in the word. Huh? Some of y'all watch track and field and you don't care who win. Track and field on. <laughs> I caught a young man smiling, tracking fields on. Who won? I don't know. <laughs> hmm? Everybody, quit lying to yourself. Everybody here got a flavor. Some of y'all like everything. Come on, Basket Robin got 31 flavors. You got one. Yeah, you, you might have about three. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you got a flavor. There's something that you like that'll make you smile. Huh? Make you pull a jaw muscle? Make you create a dimple? Come on now. Everybody, oh, come on. It's just so, you know, that's okay, because it's a hood child. I'm about done. So, 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 Zuleika, her flavor was Joseph. She said, I seen slaves, but I ain't never seen one like that. <laughs> so she came at him. She came at him. Not. See, when Satan come after you, he don't come after you every other day. It said every day. Every day she came up against him. Huh? I'm going to help y'all and I'm going to sit down. Because when Satan comes at you with something you like, it ain't no fun. Then you have to have the fear of the Lord not to partake of it. See, what people do, they, they try to be slick about it, and they try to dress it up in Jesus' name. Well, we got a scripture against you. Every good and perfect get come from above. Ain't no way in the world God going to bring you something that caused you to leave him. Talk to me now. Amen. Huh? No, no, no. Everybody, 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 got a, everybody got an outfit for they lost. I, I could have sat down on that, right? Everybody has an outfit. For they lost. And they dress it up and try to put it in Jesus' name. No, 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 no. Every good and perfect gift come from above. You don't have to leave God and get nothing. Huh? You have to leave God and get nothing. When you go after something that God never meant for you to have and you lose it, that's your time to worship and tell God thank you because he delivered you. That is the mercy. You, me, it does not matter. Anything we put before our soul, we jeopardize. Amen. That goes for me. Anything. Any husband, any 
any wife, any child, any job, your looks, your shape, anything that you worship before God, you in jeopardy. Of somebody tell God, thank you. Let me get my list in order. Let me put my soul first. Let me put my soul above everything. Uh, mm -hmm. what you think God said I'm a jealous God huh here's some deep Hebrew um, that's what you you know why God says it's not good for man to be alone and your computer don't count <laughs> you know why God said it's not good for man to be alone because God said, I don't want man to think he's like me. Because I'm God all by myself. So man, I don't want man to be, it's not good for man to be alone. Be fruitful and multiply. Two men can't, can't create nothing but pain. Two women can't create nothing but feelings. But you can't produce, all right? Be fruitful and multiply. That's why he made man the way he did and made woman. But he, won, he, he did not want man to be by himself. When a man is by himself, first of all, men who are by themselves later on in life die quicker than married men. It's something about having somebody to sleep with in covenant that helps keep you alive longer. You do the math. Amen. Lord Hammer. Now y'all want me to talk about that? Well, I'm up for it. Amen. It's not good for man to be alone. His mind starts deteriorating. Amen. He starts seeing things that don't exist. His confidence wanes. You need a wife to tell you you all that. You need a wife to look up to you. You need a wife to aim. God made her, watch this now, to be a help me. Also, she's supposed to also help you when you get out of the way. She's supposed to challenge the fact that you are stepping out the will of God and bring you in. That's why it's so easy for a man by himself to be out the will of God. Because if he got the right one, she said, oh, no, 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 amen. You too good of a man to get tricked like that. Oh, come on now. Aren't you glad your husband back in the house of God? Amen. Back where he belongs, amen. So he don't get out there and become a liability or statistic. Somebody tell God, thank you. It's a rule of God. It's not my rule. God's way. Oh, let me get back to my story. So Zuleika is after Joseph. Day to day. Just like Satan. Day to day. And because Joseph, you're paying attention, was beautiful. I teach people, anytime Satan sees something beautiful, it reminds him of himself. Yeah. If you have a beautiful smile, you have a beautiful countenance, you have a beautiful disposition, you have what, anything that's beautiful, Satan says, I want that. If you have a beautiful future, I want that. If you have a beautiful relationship, I want that. If you have a beautiful desire, I want that. Amen. Because it reminds me of myself. Amen. The only time that something is beautiful that does not bless it is that when you have a beautiful walk with God that is what makes him want to come at you like never before amen your walk with God so here he sees watch this now he sees this young man huh who 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 come on now everybody everybody can have an excuse why they don't want to walk with God he could say, you know what, I ain't going to walk with God because my brothers lied on me and they threw me in this ditch and they was trying to get me killed. And since I'm over here now, it don't even matter no more. I don't care no more. Facebook is, a, is a full of people who don't care no more. I don't care. They got to let everybody know. I don't care. I'm about to end it. I'm about to jump. I'm about to do that. They just want a like button. Come on now. Amen. Because if you really wanted to die, lay out on West Center on 132nd Street. Uh, it'll get the job done. I'm not making fun of suicide. But some people want to die, but they don't want to get hurt. Y'all hear me now. They, they out there trying to get, get some sympathy. Uh, but, but even then, everybody has an excuse why they should not walk with God or whatever. Amen. So Joseph had one. He could have said, my brother threw me in a ditch. They didn't like me. They tried to get me killed. No. Even though I'm naked, I'm in this strange house, this woman is pulling on me, I'm going to still walk with God. It is not an excuse for me to leave God. But guess what? Guess what? I told my mom often, Satan is not impressed with your words. 
Why? He is not impressed. You say you love the Lord. He is not impressed. Oh, I need him. Won't he do it? All those other Christians saying, he's only impressed is when your flavor come up and you walk away. If a tear come down your face. But I cannot do that in front of God. When you have an opportunity to violate God's law and you can't do it because of the love of Jesus down in your soul, then Satan knows that he has a formidable opponent. Some of y'all are formidable opponent because Satan all year he is trying to get you out the will of God. He's presented things to you. He's offered things to you. He's got in your dream. He's got in your hand. But, but somebody here loved the Lord. Amen. Somebody's got roots all the way down to the ground. Somebody is prepared for another week of Satan offering them a kingdom. But they refuse to buckle. Who are you this morning? Amen. That refuse to violate. Over temptation. Just because you have a crush on somebody, don't mean you got to lay with them. That's right. That's right. Come on, that's good. You can say she a banger and keep on stepping. Right. Don't be lying to my machine and all that. How come you missed that stoplight? <laughs> see, see, people that lie to themselves, they fail. You know that, don't you? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. He don't mean nothing to me. I work with him, but he ain't all that. What'd you get those new box braids for? <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> Fresh box braids? <laughs> hmm? You never wore perfume before? <laughs> cologne? That's how one woman was in my office. That one woman knew her. He had seen somebody because he started wearing cologne. You know it was cheap. He starts slap, you know, <laughs> slap it on it. By the time he hit the door, it's gone. But <laughs> I, I, look, so we sit in the office, Lisa, and she said, "You know who it is?" She said, "What's her name?" Uh -huh. He started crying. Huh? Well, he started wearing cologne. He said he didn't wear cologne. Come on now. Okay. Huh? Now y'all look guilty. Like, what are you gonna say next? <laughs> well, I'm just trying to tell you. <laughs> You're not all that until you run to something you like and you walk away from it. Okay? That's how you know you have made progress in God. You, we, ain't nobody impressed by you talking about you love the Lord. Oh, he's been good. We know he's good. He's sweet, I know. I know. We know that. Huh? Jesus loved me. This I know. I know because the Bible told you so. We know all that. Huh? Won't he do it? He sure will do it. I mean, he can also keep you. Won't he do that? Won't he do that? Huh? I'm, high, I'm blessed and highly favored until you saw something you wanted. See, none of that stuff means anything. Huh? What means something? Tell you can't say nothing. Say you have been tempted. If temptation is sin, I'm going to drop the mic and we ain't never going to have church again. It's no use having church again. If temptation is sin, don't come back. I'm going to sell the place and make it a theater. Shack, uh, 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 Shaft, go to Africa. Some old movie I'll put in here. All right? Huh? If temptation is not sin. All right? But in, the enemy brings you temptation, 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 because we are in the flesh. Even though we have the Holy Ghost, we are in the flesh. But what is impressive is when you trust God and Satan has worn you down to the bottom of the barrel of your faith. You are down to the bottom of the barrel, so now your spirit takes over. Come on now. Oh, you don't even have the strength to rebuke him. But your history, the historicity of your walk with God takes over, and in your spirit, it gives intercession. Because even at your weakened state, God knows you don't want to fail him. I mean, amen. Why? Because if, if I get down to the last drop, you're going to find the fear of the Lord holding me together. Who in here want to thank God for a week of living holy and walking with God and striving for perfection? As opposed to that to the little fake churches in church. I mean, I'm, not, I'm out of church now. You never was in church. Yeah, right. I'm out of church now. I'm back in now. I'm out of church now. I'm back in now. You never were in. 
And when you were out, you was out while you was in. Right. <laughs> okay. That's that's fake church talk. Right. Right. The stuff to make you, that's fake church talk. That's phony. That's the uncola. That ain't the cola. That's the uncola. You hear me? That's Shasta. That ain't classic Coke classic that'll burn you like, like liquor if you drink it too fast. That's that Shasta cola that you can swallow three cans and don't get no burn. You get you a little small Coke, that real strong Coke, man, you think you got some Hennessy, it'll burn your throat up. You can't drink that fast. Huh? That's that uncola talking church where you're deceiving yourself. It's better that you can't say nothing and you've been under the gun of temptation, but oh God, I thank you. I got victory last week. Amen. I got victory today. Sometimes you got to calculate victory by the minute. I got victory. Amen. It's 9 o'clock and I'm still kept by the power of the blood. It's 9.30 and I still love God. It's 10 o'clock. Glory. Hallelujah. By 10.30 30 start feeling good to you. By 11 o'clock, you got your praise on. By 11 30. Instead of, I love the Lord. Next man, we don't see you. Huh? That's that fake stuff. That's that tree in my yard looking cute. Cause the wind wasn't blowing. Who can't sit there and flow? <laughs> what makes it so crazy? I, Cause I like watching God show out. Cause I don't care who y'all. You, you rich or poor, you could have like a four cent or four million. That wind still knock your place over. I like watching that. Cause I like watching God flex. So I, I don't see my little tree about to leave the world. <laughs> So I open up, we go upstairs, I open up, I'm like, man, look at God. I told my wife, let's go watch God. He gets the blowing stuff. Get this man making the tree look like Fat Joe. Lean back, man, that tree across, we're leaning back. I said, look at that video. Come on, tree, come on with that. Hey, huh? <laughs> so then, watch this now, this, this ain't deep. Like all storms, it passed over. I'm gonna say that one more time. Like, like all, oh man, like all storms. You don't leave God because you're going through a storm. It's going to pass over. Like all storms. But then I went outside. I was like, okay, so same day. Storm passed over, sun was shining. I go out, back out. I come back in. I said, watch this now. Whose tree blew in my yard? Oh, man. <laughs> Is that the neighbor's tree? That's my tree. I went down there, pulled a little cute tree, little, 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 little look like he was a sanctified tree. <laughs> mm, ain't talking about trees no more. Tree looked like he was in the will of God until that storm came. Tree looked like a prayer warrior. You know those old church terms. <laughs> Prayer, <laughs> what's a prayer warrior? Somebody who pray with, with, with paint on their face? I don't know. A prayer warrior. <laughs> what if you look like a warrior but you ain't praying? <laughs> okay. So this, <laughs> this tree was all out, snapped it from the base. Sna a clean break. All that beauty all laid out on my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't well, nothing left to do but chop it up and get it out the way. Why should the lawn look ugly? Because one tree couldn't take a star. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? And you know what? The rest of the lawn didn't feel sorry for it. I didn't see the other trees go over there and nurse it back to health and try to put it back up. <laughs> he couldn't make it. I, I had the other three. And, and some, well, I had trees that are bigger, but I had some little bitty trees like, huh, that ain't on us. <laughs> they still there. That ain't on us. I didn't see no tree leave and go and say, hey, oh, that, it was so pretty. It could not handle the storm. We had to chop it up. We had to get it out the way. We might plant another tree, we might not, but hopefully it'll be deeper. It won't be sitting there looking pretty. Yeah. Right. All right. It'll be deep. Yeah. Joseph, back to Joseph. 
Joseph just wasn't a pretty tree that fell because here this woman came after him. Day to day, day to day, day to day to day. And then, wow, she came at him and he tried words. He said, she grabbed him. I mean, you got to watch women that be grabbing you. Okay, all right, I'll try, all right. What are they? Aggressive. Something about when they see that ring on your finger, that just excites them. Now, all the scallywags they could have out there, they don't want. <laughs> they want to mess your thing. I'm, I'm talking to married men. I said, all the scallywags. <laughs> Y'all know some scallywags. Don't act like you don't know no scallywags. Everybody knows some scallywags. <laughs> Everybody knows some scallywags. Huh? You got scallywags on your post. They don't care about what you posted. They say, is that Keith there? HG Field. I bet I can feel HG Field. <laughs> I'm watching now. I got my own share of little old groupies trying to get on my site. Wait, something happened to Sister Barla. Ain't nothing gonna happen to her heifer. You better get off my site. Hey, man. It's a white night. I know he travel. I sure do. <laughs> groupies. <laughs> old groupies. Old cougars. Clawless cougars. <laughs> hey, Amen. As long as I have the fear of God. So the fear of God covers the pulpit to the back door. Without the fear of God, you are nothing. But with the fear of God, you are something. And if you are something, you ought to thank God for making you something because of the fear. Amen. You owe God that someone you'll walk with him. You have a reverence that's deeper than what you like. Joseph said, how can I do this wicked thing before God? Right. That didn't stop her. If anything, that half of she inspired now. I really got something to shoot for now. Uh, half is a biblical word. It's really heifer, but I just put the, the black spin on it. Don't, don't let that bother you. <laughs> You got to read the Bible instead of watch BET. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, so, so, so. But that didn't, that didn't stop her. You know, I'm a deacon. That don't stop her. <laughs> you know, I'm a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> that don't stop her. She said, I'm a Monday teacher. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I, I, I love it. Oh, I love to see religious people blush. They look all down in the word and like they studying. Huh? That don't impress. And then the Hebrew, she almost caught him. She almost caught him. She almost caught him and ruined the back half of Genesis. She almost caused caught him and reversed out 400 years. Right. You know the Hebrew story. Mm -hmm. He saw a vision of his father. Right. And his father said, don't you ever think one act cannot change the destiny. Y'all know one act can change the destiny? Talk to me real quick. One act can change the destiny. Huh? One thing. So his father so what caused that vision to come? Because even down to his weakest, there was the fear of the Lord. But he was in a situation he couldn't run out of. He had to be in a house. And that devil kept pressing and pressing and pressing. I'm trying to, somebody here is going through something. For the rest of y'all, y'all wait till I get done, all right? But somebody going through something. They want, how can I, this thing is on me all day. I wake up with it. Y'all ain't never been hemmed up by the devil, have you? You little saw spaghetti falling off the plate, people. You ain't never had. A, a devil just harass you. All in your sleep, you get up and messing with you.
talking you during the day. You're good enough at your job where you can daydream and listen to him and still get your job done. Who am I talking to? You can still get your job done, but he's still in your ear and in your ear and this and this and that. Oh, somebody thank God for a word today. Huh? And you know what? Since he harassed you all last week and this morning, you ought to slap him, put some hands on him. And I thank God he kept me last week and he gonna keep me this week. Amen. Darnell, don't fall for it. Those old crazy women on the job. Amen. Bumping into you. Trying to take advantage. You just had a new baby. In the name of Jesus. You are kept by the power of the Lamb. Come on. Amen. Somebody here got joy down in their soul because they were kept all last week. They were fighting the devil in the streets and stuff was calling their name. Who in here refused to go back? Amen. Why? Because, amen, I owe God everything. He is the fountain of my life. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You got to talk to that devil. I'm not doing that. I'm not going there. I'm not saying that. That is called, baby, the fear of the Lord. Yes. 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 Without it, you easy pickings. Without it, you're just fooling yourself. Without it, you just raise the price. Without it, <laughs> wow, he'll take 10 years of your testimony out in 10 minutes. Yes. Without it. Without it. And then Judas, after he used you, you'll come to yourself. And you'll approach the people that set you up and try to return the money. Huh? What are they telling? What is it to us? We, you, you were used. You did what you was going to do. We, you did what we wanted you to do. Right. Somebody thank God for the fear. And don't, how, don't hold off. Hold your clock. Don't let... No, pseudo, pseudo means fault, religious person, make you feel bad because you're being tempted. Right. Some of the people trying to make you feel bad failed God. Are y'all hearing me? Y'all ain't hearing me. Stick around, stick around here. Trying to make you feel bad. If you had the Holy Ghost, you wouldn't think like that. You didn't have a... Come on, come on, come on and keep it real. Yes, sir. I, I, oh, please don't call that child's name. <laughs> Bishop... If they had the Holy Ghost, you know what I should have did when she knocked on my door? That was my day off. She's going to knock on my door crying, tempted by somebody. Crying. You know what I could have said? <laughs> but if you had the Holy Ghost, why are you knocking at my door crying? Huh? Because you've seen somebody, there was a man on the job that had attributes her husband didn't have. I didn't do that child like that. But that child ended up roll up on me thinking she's better than Because uh, uh, mm. I got a good memory. She better get that downhill slant out of her voice. Because I remember when you was in trouble. Don't ever forget, when you talk to somebody going to temptation, don't forget when it was you. Come on, come on now. Huh? Don't, oh, don't forget when it was you. Uh, uh, and it's going to be you. How you know that? He came after Christ. He coming after you. You are not Christ. If he came after Christ, he's coming after you. But don't worry about it. You have heard a message about the fear of the Lord. If you are, if you are afraid of God, if you reverence God, if you love God from the top of his own, you are, you are not going to fail. You are not going to buckle. You will have victory and you will have a testimony and you will have something that will help somebody else. Satan after your testimony. That's why you can't keep buckling and falling for the same thing. Test you can't keep, keep hit by the same punch. You know you like dark men. You know you like red bones. I'm gonna look up. <laughs> You know you like thick. I'm thicker than a snicker. Thicker than a yellow page. It's thicker than, uh, you know, you know. Well, come on now. Yes. Quit lying to yourself. Yes. 
<laughs> some of y'all love nerds. You see some glasses that are thick, you just get in love. You just. <laughs> <laughs> A, a nerd just does something to you. <laughs> Don't be a nerd and have on some Converse too. Something about a Converse wearing nerd. <laughs> hey, look, y'all looking at me like, look, look. You know what? I've been doing this half my life. Everybody got something. <laughs> and those y'all with everything have a hard way to go every day. <laughs> But everybody got something. Right. But don't let that person right. try to make you feel bad. Yeah. When you're under temptation, you don't stay home. You come to church. Right. If you stay home, Satan going to use your mind like a, tra a trampoline. He going to jump up and down. He going to convince you that if God really loved you, he would be in alignment with your lust and give you what you asked for. Somebody here is glad that God did not give them what they asked for. Somebody in your world. Somebody in your role that really loved God is glad that God said no. Okay? The fear of the Lord on the bottom that showed up in Joseph. Yes. And he ran out of there. And she grabbed him, Miss Chase, woman of God, who became a freakazoid, <laughs> grabs him. You know, I tell you on Tuesday, y'all know it created a scene where it looked like he right. he he got it in with her, and then told her husband that this Hebrew basically tried to rape me, and God even was in that for Joseph, right? Because if he hadn't went to that penitentiary, what she really did, she lied him into the destiny. Because he had to go to that penitentiary to see the two men that Pharaoh stuck in the same pen. Right. Oh, come on. And, and that is what happened. And then he tried to get out of the state pen early like all of us. We want to get delivered before it's time. Come on, people. Oh, come on. We want, we want deliverance before it's time. I'm going to say it again. We want deliverance. We want deliverance be, 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 before so then he tries some self-deliverance, like, remember me. No, no, they forget you on purpose because it's not time yet. But when it was time, yeah. when it was time, and one day he went from the pit to the palace. And no, I ain't going to preach on that and drop down like James Brown. <laughs> that ain't no message. <laughs> he, got the, he got the ring. He got the car. He got the wife. He got all that in one day. Right. Yeah. Because of the fear of the Lord. You don't know what the fear of the Lord is going to do for you today. You don't know what the fear of the Lord, huh? You don't know what the fear. You might have wanted to get something handled that was out of the will of God. And God, through the word, told you no. You don't know how God going to bless you right now. Amen. Just for the simple act of obedience. You say, but where's your scripture? You're supposed to be in awe of God. Yes. You're supposed to be in awe of what the fear of the Lord has done for you. Do you remember when you didn't fear the Lord? Let's try that angle. Uh, you, uh, wow, here it is. Here's your scripture and I'm done. Psalm 33, verse 8. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the earth do what? Fear the Lord. Say, let all the earth. That's Omaha. Let all the earth fear the Lord. If all the earth feared the Lord, we wouldn't have yellow tape. Right. There are no homicides. Huh? If all the earth feared the Lord, men wouldn't impregnate silly women and leave them. Okay? No man, you know, foster care wouldn't have to raise children if all the earth feared the Lord. If all the earth feared the Lord, there would be no need for legislation to put pedophiles and molesters. If all the earth feared the Lord, I would have never buried Amber Harris in here and all the other kids. Dastasia, Lele, all the people that have been right here, if all the earth feared the Lord. If all the earth feared the Lord, some of the things you went through, you'd have never went through. 
Okay? So there's the commandment. All the earth is supposed to fear the Lord, but only a handful, a handful of people do fear him. And if you're part of that select group of people who for real are not religious, but you have a relationship with God and you fear the Lord, you ought to be honored today. Amen. Amen. That you are a select group of individuals <laughs> who have a life. And so the earth is supposed to fill the Lord. What's the other part? And I'm out. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Watch this now. So the fear of the Lord, which is Yerah Adonai. Yerah Adonai. Stand in awe. That's why I was going upstairs to look at the wind blow. To look at God move structures any way he wanted. And can't nobody stop it. To see uh, a double rainbow came out, and that wasn't a sign off on LGBT either. Right, amen. You know, you know, you can't get God to go against His own law. I don't care who you are, all right? But it's just a beauty. Of God. And then God, I think somebody put on Facebook, He started painting the clouds like they were pillowcases. He lined, oh, God's pretty, y'all. He lined this cloud up with pillowcases, huh? And everything that he no longer wanted to hear their song, people had to gather up and put to the side. And then the rest of nature did not get mad at him because of who they lost. They still praising God as we speak. Are you hearing me? It's a beautiful. So you ought to be in awe, amen, at the tree that's still in your yard who's withstood all the storms. You ought to be in awe of the structure. Why is there some structures tumble, but others were standing still. How come some houses were demolished and some were still upright? Somebody, thank God, could it be that some of you, because when you were in Bellevue, the difference between your house was not the contractor, but it was the blood covering that was there because of you. So therefore, amen, the storm had to skip past you because you were, y'all ain't hearing me, amen. Somebody, thank God, but I guarantee you when God was flexing this muscle, you weren't cursing him, you were praising him. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. Oh, look at his power. He's awesome. How many of y'all love watching nature in effect? Oh, he's an awesome God. Look at what he just did. No. As soon as you see a Bill Ramby roll his sleeves up to the basement you go. <laughs> how you, how you how you scared of a storm, but you ain't scared of gunfire? <laughs> you know what I feel like doing to the rest of the world when God, I should have, I, I, need, I needed this speaker system. And you know, when God was tossing trees and stuff, I get on my porch and say, world star. <laughs> Where, guess this. Look. Oh, look at that. Get him. Oh. Because <laughs> that's an awesome God. Amen. He does what he wants to do with humanity. He's the undisputed champion of the world. Huh? Oh, yeah. He's undisputed. Everybody stand. You underestimated the fear of the Lord. What did it do for you? I didn't even cover those scriptures. I covered because somebody is going through some temptation. So my mind, because I don't have no notes up here, my mind flipped to Joseph. So that somebody will have victory this week. Even though that thing is pressing on now. Okay, that's what the, that's what the word does. It, see, some, somebody going through something that, you know, depends on, they may not tell you. It might be embarrassing. They might be embarrassed. They may feel, I don't want people to know I'm in a weakened state. But the word came anyway. Oh, yes. To let you know you don't have to fail God. Uh, you don't have to fail God. You don't have to fail God. Because that fear of the Lord will be a fountain of life. Yes. You understand a fountain of life? Well, you can always drink from it when you're in trouble. Oh, that's too much for y'all. What would you say? Not 
God, no. The fear of the Lord is the fountain you drink from when you hemmed up. So that you can make it through that episode in your life. Yeah. Every head bow while you're standing. Somebody's in dire need. While you're standing there, just stand there. Of the fear of the Lord.